All right, what's going on, everybody? Today, I want to talk about Tsunami's Hollow Teasers. That's these boys right here. Um, basically, it is a line through, as you can see here, the one I got rigged up. It's a line through um, pulsating head. Um, it's designed really for fluke fishing in ocean water. And designed to, you know, to kind of accent a, a piece of live bait. You know, you put a piece of live bait on a hook or a sardine or something on a hook. You throw this in front of it. It adds some flash to it. I'm assuming that's what they do with it. But I saw these in the uh, my local tackle shop, being it's a saltwater tackle shop. And I don't have a whole bunch of uh, access to freshwater stuff, you know, locally. I saw these and I thought, wow, those would be kind of cool if I rigged it up in front of, let's say, a fluke. And that's what I did last winter. I mean, last summer. I put this head in front of a fluke body on it, just on a, a Texas rigged fluke, and with this head in it, without the bobber stop. And I went out, and man, I got some bass on it, and it worked out really well. And what it is, the skirt itself just pulsates in the water. When I tell you these, these little fine, um, I don't know if they're mylar or, or uh, 3D, whatever they are, they, the, the plastic... Legs on these things, they just shimmer in the water, and they pulsate with the wet, with the movement of the water. More so than the rubber, believe it or not. And it's really a tantalizing look to it. So I thought, well, not only was I going to do that, I did that, this was late in the summer. So at the end of the summer, I was fishing the fluke, jerking across the top and got fish with it. But I figured, this year, I'm going to fish it, you know, when the, when the spring hits here. It's going to be my Texas rig to give me kind of almost like a swim bait style look. But with a you know a weedless Texas rig, and that's what I wanted this for. So what I'm going to do, I, I'm going to kind of throw this together really quick. A bobber stop, the head itself. I put a weight on there, upside down bullet weight. You can go whatever you want. You can use an egg sinker, split shot, whatever you feel like you want to use. Uh, I, I put a bead on there. You don't have to have the bead. I didn't do the bead last time. I just put the bead on there for now for looks, and then a hook. And, and ignore this hook. It's a, a keeper hook. It, it doesn't go really well in this worm, but. Um, it was just for looks, you know, for to show off the rig. And this is going to be the rig I'm going to drag across in the beds. Uh, I'm going to jerk this thing up and down. I'm going to fish it like a, you know, at times like a jig. I'm going to fish swim it. I'm going to put a paddle tail on the back of it or a grub on the back of this and swim swim it. Um, but the thing I love about it is that this head just pulsates. And it doesn't add a whole lot of weight. Um, it's not really overly obtrusive. And if you put a weight behind it, it kind of... Even with it in there, it puts your hook right about where you want it. You want the hook right at the back of that skirting because this is where they're going to bite. They're going to bite down. If you've ever fished a spinnerbait, it always seems like you always miss that bass at the end of the skirt. And that's what this will do. If you rig it up like this, you can use a smaller hook. Um, and you fish it, like I said, a paddle tail on it is what I'm going to do. I'm going to fish it with paddle, drag it across the bottom. Fish it with a grub, drag it across the bottom. I'm going to swim it, you know, slowly swim it through the water column. I'm going to try it some different ways, and I know it's going to catch me in bass. It got me bass last uh, summer fishing it at, with a fluke on the back of it and without it being pinned. I had it uh, not pinned and, and uh, fishing it that way, and it worked out great. And like I said, they come in three-pack, so you got your hollow teasers. That's a three-pack. Um, they come in various colors. I got it in a chartreuse and yellow with that gold in there. It looks really good. You got your uh, like almost like a gold pepper. Uh, chartreuse with the with the green um, uh, wiring in it as well. It's hard to see it in the light. My light's not doing it well, but it's it's two different colors. This is a separate. You can tell it's a different color than this one, but um, the banding's different. The this rubber skirting itself is different, and in the, and the mylar is different. I got in a blue, which is um, really nice blue in this. This kind of represents, I think, a bluegill pattern. It's really nice. And then the one I, I'm showing you here now is a pink and blue. And I'll use this for fluke as long with bass. It got me bass last year. So don't fool, kid yourself and think, oh, that's not, those are saltwater colors. Trust me. These are all bass colors. Um, it's made by a company called Tsunami. Let me slide this up here. Uh, Tsunami's the company. Um, they make a lot of things. I got their rods. I have swim baits by then. This is one of their mullets here. Um, I forgot to show that off. I use their mullets. I use their hollow teasers. I use their. Uh, they have a thing called boxing glove head jigs. I use their jigs. I love their jig heads. And this is just another thing. But if you're looking for something different to throw out there, and you're looking for something that might give you an, an edge that the fish aren't seeing, and that's what I, I did it for, was I wanted something that uh, a lot of fish hadn't seen. 
and they see you know in my i have a lake that i'm fishing this in that is i mean it's a, you have 100 yards of shoreline to walk you really have no other area to fish and it's highly highly fished and they see everything from sinkos to plastic worms to grubs to frogs on top rats on top um spinner baits they see you know your flukes on top i fish a lot of flukes there as well as you know they people fish you know your creature baits in there so i gotta try and find something that will get the fish's attention that they haven't seen and this is it was an idea i came up with and i guarantee it's gonna give me a lot of fish this summer um let me know what you think like i said hollow teasers by tsunami is what it is you can see they come in various colors uh cost wise they're probably for a pack of three is less than four bucks you know maybe four buck mark but it's definitely a, a an interesting idea if, if you have uh you know something you want to make you know custom make you make your own spinner baits make your own you know uh, a buzz bait this will work you know as a trailer on the back of that you know homemade buzz bait um you know it's just a, an idea like i said it uh it was my idea for uh making it my uh, you know another lure for bass fishing to give something different to look at so let me know what you think the hollow teasers by tsunami check them out